We are talking about factoring by grouping, and we want to rec recognize relationships to produce equivalent expressions. And the first three steps are going to be the same. So the first thing we're going to look for is we're going to look for greatest common factors in all the terms. Uh, try to make our A value positive. Uh, step three, count the terms. So we've done difference of squares with two terms. We've done three terms of the quadratic form. And now if we see four terms, then we want to think we want to group. Uh, we want to factor by grouping. And so the way that we do that is uh, use parentheses to create smaller groups. Uh, then use the, the greatest common factor of each of those to create uh, equal binomials. And then factor the binomials out as the GCF. So... First thing we look at is we look at how many groups we have. We have, or how many terms we have. One, two, three, four. So we have four terms there, and we want to make groups. So we're going to make a group of the first two, and we're going to make a group of the last two terms. Now, we take a look, and we see that uh, we have three Ps, two Ps, one P, and no Ps here. So we want to try to make the first term of this binomial look exactly the same as the first term of this binomial. So there's one P here. So how many P's do we have to take out in order to leave one left? So we're going to divide this one. We're going to take two P's out. So if we take two P's out, then our variable will match. Uh, the next thing that we look at is we look at the four. We want to make the four look like the positive two, positive four. So how do we, what do we have to divide four by in order to make it look like two? So we got to divide by two. So we're going to divide two P squared out of each of these first two terms. So four P cubed, well, we can rewrite it here. So we'll put our, put our line down and we can rewrite it. Uh, the two P, two P squared is coming up. So two P squared. That's coming out of this first one. And what's going to be left? Uh, 4 divided by 2. That is 2. P cubed divided by P squared. That is P. Six, negative 6 divided by 2 is negative 3. And uh, P squared divided by P squared. That drops out. Now, is there anything to factor out of this last one? We already have 2p minus 3 and 2p minus 3, so there's nothing really to factor out. So we can always factor out a positive 1. Factor out the positive 1. 2p divided by 1 is still 2p. Negative 3 divided by 1 is still negative 3. Now, we can take a look here, and we have... We still have two sides. We have this binomial was split right there between the two binomials. Well, this equation can still be split. We still have our split right here. And what do we notice that's common between those two? So um, here we're split by addition. And we notice that we have a common 2p minus 3 and a common 2p minus 3. We can take the 2p minus 3 and we can factor it out of the first term and the second term there. So we're going to factor that out front. So 2p minus 3 we've taken out. We've taken that out of this first side here. So we took the 2p minus 3 out. What's left? We're still going to have 2p squared left. So 2p squared. We factored the 2p minus 3 out. That's out front here. So what's left? Now that that's gone, just the plus 1. And now we've completely factored this first one by grouping.